pretty awesome actually. It was a bit slow, uh, or I was a bit slow, but uh, went out to the Northern Airspace, um, did some uh, stuff up there, and then uh, down to Tyndall Air Force Base to do some circuit training, uh, and back here. So overall, it was uh, pretty enjoyable. I'm sort of still trying to work out what actually happened while I was airborne. It was a bit rapid for me, but uh, a successful first one. Uh, the jet feels uh, very similar to everything we've done in the sim, so it's remarkably easy to fly. Um, felt uh, very similar to the F-18 that I've flown previously, so it was uh, very comfortable um, in that regard. And, and in all seriousness, almost felt sort of easier to fly than the sim did. So um, that really wasn't a concern. It was more just trying to get it started and not fall off the ladder that the main things I was focused on today. So the training's been, uh, I guess, uh, it's quite a complex system, so uh, we spent a good six or seven weeks in ground school full time, and uh, we started, or the course started flying over the last week, um, and we still got about three weeks to go. The training uh, has been delivered uh, by both contractors and the Air Force, it's been absolutely outstanding, so uh, both very professional uh, and detailed in terms of the material covered. Uh, it's made it, well, it's certainly simplified the process to get in the aeroplane and fly it, and uh, it's been a very enjoyable seven weeks so far. Uh, it's quite humbling when you step onto a new aeroplane um, as to how it sort of feels like the first day at school where you just don't know anything. Um, so uh, a couple of things, the cameras were there so I didn't want to look like an idiot as I was getting into the aeroplane but uh, equally just trying to take my time and um, remember the things I've been taught and, and just go through in order so that I don't forget anything, uh, make mistakes. So uh, it was quite, I guess, a deliberate process today and it took a while but it um, paid for the end, I suppose. It was probably about the first time I caught up to the aeroplane in the flight, so it was good just to taxi back in and, and sort of enjoy that. It's a beautiful day out there um, down here in Florida, so um, taxi back into the carport, saw everyone waiting, uh, saw my wife there. Um, so uh, just, I guess the gravity of it might set in later, but at the moment it was just, it's been a really awesome day and it's, uh, it's I guess, a good start to a flying crew on the 35. We're going to be moving to Phoenix. We've still got um, three weeks or so of flying training to go um, on base, so hopefully get through that successfully and then we'll move up to Phoenix uh, and the plan from there is to start instructing uh, on the F-35 there. So uh, myself and my wife will move up early May. Uh, the second Australian will be arriving in Phoenix directly in mid-May um, and hopefully we'll get to be involved in some of this training and then we'll be looking to bed down our procedures for uh, bringing the airplane home.